Welcome to Critical Project Leadership Habits, 14 Habits You Need to Develop. There are two topics in this e-learning course, the first, Seven Deadly Habits of Ineffective Software Managers, and the second, Seven Successful Habits of Effective Software Leaders. Okay, let's start with Habit 1. Our first deadly habit shows a manager telling the team that's okay to ship with defects as long as it's first to market. The engineering lead agrees, QA doesn't. The very impact that the company wanted to avoid, defective product released, the result was a major layoff to the team that was told to ship the product anyways. Daniel is a newly promoted software VP. Definitely wants to prove himself, meeting with the executives. This became very clear, the company is in trouble. They've had three quarters of disappointing financial results. Major product upgrade is under development and it needs to be released this quarter. In front of the executives, Daniel felt pretty self-assured and proclaimed that we can ship this software this quarter. It wasn't exactly what the executives had expected to hear, but they certainly liked to hear this. Daniel was today's hero. And then Daniel went back to his team. Dante, from the QA organization, proclaimed this software isn't close to even being ready. Becky, putting on her Born to Kill Microsoft Army helmet, responded, Get with it. No software is 100% error-free anyways. This software is far better than any of our prior releases. I'll stake my reputation on it. So a month went by, and the team kept a watchful eye on the defect tracking control chart that the project manager maintained, and this basically showed the trends of incoming defects. Over time, they began to separate. This isn't a good thing. Daniel presented those facts back to the executives, at this point, he told them no quarter shipments possible. Executive team wasn't exactly excited with this news. They decided we need to release the product anyway, and we'll follow with a quick maintenance update. VP of Marketing took this opportunity to also say, you can always show how customer-centric you are by how fast to market you release and how fast you fix defects. The result? Product launch was a disaster. Management team had no recourse but to lay off some of the staff. Engineers worked hard to correct those issues. It was always more work to correct after the fact, and a number of them had to help with customer support. The company lost credibility with key customers. Management team themselves lost credibility with their own employees. Everyone paid the price for poor quality. So what could have been done differently? Never commit until you have the facts and support of the team. Rather than become a hero, ensure that risks are understood and communicated frequently. There's one more thing. Always make decisions based on checks and balances that you have in place and stick to it. This chart shows what would have been a much better defect tracking trend where incoming defects being encountered and those being corrected were more in line In the PMBOK guide, the quality management knowledge area has some great advice. And these three processes, plan quality, perform quality assurance, and perform quality control, can offer some great advice for you.